what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today we have this 2005 it's a Volkswagen Touareg and we have a problem with this car today so the customer states that when he turns the car on after 10 seconds he completely dies so let's just see all right there's no check engine it's turning on and after exactly seven seconds he dies and he says this happens all the time and I can feel it shake and after 10 seconds it will die in a little bit so I'm just gonna wait and here it comes it's gonna die and it die so I already found the problem with this car it's apparently the uh, fuel pumps so I have my gauge over there as you can see oh it flipped <laughs> just bring it here all right this is much better so I have my gauge right there and every time I run well every time you open the door the the um, the pump primes itself just to get it ready to turn on so when you turn on the car, obviously it powers the fuel pump. And as you can see, it's gonna start dropping. As you can see, it's going slow, 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 30, 20, and it's gonna start failing. And around 15 PSI, 10, and it will die. And sometimes it will go up again. And that's pretty much the problem we have. So solution, obviously fuel pump. We have the fuel pumps there and the fuel pumps are located right here on the back of the seat so these fuel pumps have never been changed ever and this car are, uh, also has a recall not for the fuel pump but there's a cover on top of it uh, I believe it's called the transfer uh, bridge or something like that uh, I'll leave the link in the description where you can get the um, those parts and also look for the recall using your pin number all right so I'm gonna open this one first because this is the main fuel pump if you have a B8 the fuel pump is located on the passenger side but but on B6 or four cylinder is located on the driver's side so I'm gonna switch that one first and also I have fuel pumps there I have changed before on another car it's actually from a Porsche Cayenne and it's pretty much the same thing they use the same parts actually this the Toric is base is the base model for the Porsche Cayenne like the chassis everything and let's go and change those fuel pumps all right let's go okay so the first thing you have to do is let me just start from the beginning you have to so your carpet is gonna be like this and you have to cut all the way here just like a square that way you can lift this like this in order to access the cover for the fuel pump and you're gonna need also a 12 star 10 millimeter like this one to remove this and be careful because these are really tight they have loctite on it and they're gonna be kind of difficult to remove so you need a special especially a breaky bar if you have one because it's really tight when I mean tight it's tight so as you can see it's breaking No, no, 
no está tan difícil, pero... No, no. Entonces ni siquiera se afloja este. Sí, es igualito que el mío. Sí. Vamos a honesto los que se quitan. Mi teléfono graba bien, perrón. ¿Mm? Mi teléfono graba bien, perrón, digo. Lo, lo, lo hice cera para grabar, sí. No es, no es especial, pero. Sí. En internet te dicen las especificaciones como se le. Sí. Ahí está. Y ahí sí es como se quitan guys. Así ¿no? <risa> sí, se quita esa mamada. Esa mamada. Oh, ya sé cómo le va a hacer el trayo. Ya sí lo quería poner, pero como lo vi aquí. Uh -huh. sí. Alright guys, so with this simple test, we can know for sure if the fuel pump is good or not. So you're gonna need a multimeter like this one. This is the pump that originally came from the car. And let me just show you that it doesn't work. Just gonna put negative with negative, positive with positive. And as you can see, nothing happens. We should see at least some resistance and nothing there's no resistance in this little pump so definitely know that this is the issue and here we have another pump that it's in good condition so just to show you what you should get when you test this you should get at around 15 about 5 ohms mega ohms yeah so this is this is a good pump it has good resistance so I'm gonna go ahead and change the whole assembly this one I already have the fuel pumps already here and I'm gonna change all of them the two the, uh, the transfer pump and the main pump so let's go okay guys so right now we're gonna transfer the electronics to the new pump Okay, 
o esta es esta. Mmm. Sí. Ya. Yeah. La guay. Ahí, ahí, toma, toma, dale. El Sergio Flow. ¿Qué pasa con él? Savior. No, el Sergio Flow. No, no. Sí, sí. Sí, que, 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 me diciendo que era esto, ¿no? Esta es la que va aquí. No, sí, esta que va aquí. Sí, porque estaba por abajo. Uh -huh. por abajo. Sí, no, esta que va aquí. Ya se va ahí. Okay. No, quédale. Echaré, echaré jaboncito porque lo guarde. ¿Qué Tu ley ya lo metió. <risa> sí. no. Aquí. Ese va aquí. Aquí lo que pasa. Déjame. Vamos a mover esto porque no se van a caer para adentro de la verga. Entonces se me va a sacar la tronca. vuelta eh ahora si sí, se lo vete para atrás no toca ya que se pega lo para si se cae la culera después que que le salta uno que si o si ya le di vuelta yo ya, ya, ya se atoró <coughs> sabe que no sé que meter el otro <risa> Okay. Este color va, va el de arriba. Sí. Ok, este, 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 va, para este va por allá. Para aquí, no. uh 
कैसे जा रहा हूँ Alright guys, so the car is running. As you can see, the pressure is stable. I already changed the fuel pumps on this Torek. As you can see, I'm just checking it, just to make sure it's good and the pressure seems stable. So yeah, it's gonna be good. Alright guys, so the car is ready and it looks like it's not turning off again. Actually what's going on, he has the check engine light on, it's flashing and that's because there's a cylinder misfiring but it's not turning off anymore. My fuel pressure is stable, that's 55 and sorry uh, I couldn't film a lot because we're so busy today with work by removing the cap and I, I think you saw the uh, the connector when I was removing all this so this is the connector the main fuel pump for this car is this is a V6 and it's located on the driver's side so by removing the plug and if you put a multimeter on the side on the red and the brown if you hit if you have continuity between those cables which is gonna be the fuel pump inside that means your fuel pump is good and as I show you you should have around uh, from 5 to 15 mega ohms of resistance that way you can know the fuel pump is good or no so yeah that's the only way <laughs> 